Okay, before we start our animation, there's one other um, type of animation I want to show you, which is a, a tween. So let's jump in a bit like we did in the last one where we did frame by frame. This time we're going to look at a tween. So I'm going to create new. I'm going to go again to 1280 by 720. That, that works for me. Uh, frame rate 24 is fine. Action script is good. I'm going to hit create. Um, Again, I suggested that we kind of come down a little bit just so we can check we're, we're in, the, in the right place. Uh, and this time, let's go for, I quite like the grey background. It's just nice and neutral, helps me see it. So I've created a neutral stage at the back. Now this time, um, instead of going frame by frame, I'm going to use a type of animation called tweening. Um, the word comes from in between, and it's the bits between the first frame and the last frame and the computer does all the figuring out for us. That's really useful. So instead of a ball this time let's take a different colour, let's go for something nice nice like green um, and I'm just going to go with a, the rectangle tool and instead of going uh, down and up I'm going to go across the screen just again uh, but this time I'm going to start off um, the stage so I'm going to get my green square, sort of a square, rectangle I think, to travel from the left hand side all the way across to the right hand side. So slightly different to what we did before. Uh, oh, I didn't do this, let's call it green square. The reason I'm labelling everything is because we probably will add a couple of different types of tweens in here. Um, I'll go through those in a second. So green square, starting point here ending point over here. Now um, we have to put some time between that. If I put it into frame two there will be no time. So let's just say we want to make it one second. It's going to travel nice and slowly and fluidly from one place to the next. So we know that we've got 24 frames per second so therefore frame 24 and it nicely says it is one second. Now I'm going to hit that insert keyframe again and you can see that between frame 1 and frame 24 I've got nothing going on there which is great but if I go over and click on frame 24 I can basically pick up my green square and shift it to where I want it to end. So I've got a starting point on the left and an end point on the right. Now if I play my animation at this point, let's just go back up to my test movie in the top right nothing happens. The reason nothing happens is that it's off the stage on the left and it's off the stage on the right. So what we want to do is in between these two points is create a tween and all I'm going to do is right click and create a classic tween. Now I'm going to show you a motion tween uh, and in fact I'm going to, go, I'm going to show you a classic tween and, and a shape tween. Um, there probably isn't any need to use a motion tween, but I will explain a little bit more about that a bit later on. So let's go for a, a classic tween to start with. Um, I didn't even see what that dialog box said. I just said, yeah, okay, whatever, go for it. So here you go, what we've got now is this single black line moving from point one or point A to point B. And you can see as I scrub back and forwards with the playhead, I've got a nice, bit of animation happening. Not very interesting but a nice bit of animation. So let's hit that test movie again and see what we've got. And there you go, it travels. Now this could be a car, it could be a person, it could be a bullet, it could be it could be kind of anything. Um, but between frame by frames and tweens we can start to think all right we can start to make hands move, we can start to make mouths move, we can start to make bicycles move, bicycle wheels spin, all sorts of interesting things can happen and we can start our animation journey. Let's just turn that off. So that that's quite useful. One thing I do want to look at is if I if I grab this frame and just bring it out to two seconds, which is over here, I just want to see what happens now because I've just added another second of animation. So let's just play it again. And you see what we can now see is that we've got things slowing. And what I would suggest you do, let me just show you a little thing that I'd probably suggest getting your students to experiment with while they're getting their heads around this, is to start adding layers. And I'm just gonna call this like, uh, let's call this one second um, or something like that. Uh, special characters not permitted. I, yeah. 
I don't know what, I must have missed a gap or something. Anyway, let's go back to my first frame. I'm on a different, um, I'm on a different layer. Let's make it a different, I don't know, just a different color this time. Let's go for a rectangle, rectangle tool again. I'll do it up here. Let's, however, let's change that color. I just click, use my selection tool to click on it. Let's make it sort of a red color. And the same thing as we did before. We've got a starting point. This time um, we want to go to 24. I'm going to add my keyframe, insert my keyframe. Um, and I want it to travel all the way across. Same, same as the other one. Uh, but I'm doing it in 24 frames instead of 20, uh, instead of 48 frames. Double it. Right click again and insert a classic tween. Yep. And again, it's done the same thing this time, I just just so it's not confusing. Oh, and by the way, it is a good idea once you're finished with a with a layer to lock it up. And that just means you can't like mess up and put some more layers in, uh, put, put some more keyframes in there. You can always un, you can always un, unclick it. I'm also going to just turn it off for a second so we can see what happens. So now my red square, my Moscow red square is traveling from left to right. But of course, it's going to be going much quicker. And you can see because I've uh, there's nothing here, it will just stay there. It'll just hang there off screen, off stage. So when I run through now, I can start to see, ah, the number of frames will dictate the speed that my animation happens at. Let's view it. And there you go. Okay, while we're here, let's add another layer and have a quick look at a shape tween. And what we're going to do here, uh, again, th this this is kind of interesting and can be used for all kinds of things. Um, you'll probably do the majority, I should think, 95% of your animation with a classic tween um, or frame by frame. But let's let's add a shape tween this time. So this time starting again at frame one. Uh, let's get a different shape. Let's go for a polygon and uh, let's make it blue. Just put it down the bottom here. Um, so there you go. There's frame one. But let's say for some reason, I'm not sure why, I want my uh, polygon to shape tween into something else. So this time, instead of just hitting the insert keyframe, I'm going to actually insert a blank keyframe. Now, there are shortcuts for this and we'll get into those in a, in a while, but which are work, definitely worth learning. But with this animation, I want to start with a polygon and I want to end with a circle. And I want the computer to f animate the software to figure it out for me. So let's go and get a circle um, and put my circle over here. I'm going to hold shift so it's a perfect circle. Well, it doesn't have to be. So look, again, we've got, uh, let, me, let me lock the other two layers up and turn them off so we don't get distracted. So my starting frame is the blue on the left. My ending frame is the circle. Um, to actually draw all the elements moving from one shape to another over 48 frames would probably take me quite a long time. So let's see if the com computer can do it for me. I'm going to right click and add a shape tween. And already I can see that there's some color systems happening with my tweens. And I can see this sort of dull orangey color um, indicating that I've got a shape tween happening. So if I start on the left and as I gradually um, move across, my shape tween is slowly turning my polygon into, is it polygon we started with? Yep, into a circle. So again, I'm not quite sure when you might use that, but it's useful to know about that that's a shape tween. And as I said, motion tweens um, will look at, they have slightly different properties to classic tweens, things like being able to kind of rotate whatever it is we're, we're working on, but it's a similar kind of thing. So there we go. Let's turn it all on and have a quick look at what we've made. And again, that's a really good starting exercise just to start to experiment with keyframes, um, with the amount of time you're using to create these tweens. And we've got classic tweens here. Uh, we mentioned motion tweens and then shape tweens down the bottom. So let's just play that with our test movie button. And we can start to see, yeah, that's looking pretty interesting. Although, do you know what be even more interesting is if we had something uh, a little bit more meaningful, which is what we're gonna do in the next video. Before I finish, 
I'm going to save as, uh, make sure I've called it something like um, tween test one, make sure it's in the right place and save it. I can always then come back and work on it next lesson.